Hey, hey, Crips here, and welcome. There you go, welcome. So what are we doing? Well, we're going to look at the HDR feature, High Dynamic Range. Now, a lot of the top-end cameras come with a built-in auto HDR, and what that may basically means is uh, you can take a photo at three different exposure rates, and then in post, you can overlap the three and make it into one beautiful photo. Now, if you have a camera like I have, an, an old Nikon, then I don't have that option, but PaintShop Pro will give me that option, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So there you go. So I've got a photo here, and I did the, ma the, an the uh, manual way first, like I tried to take three different exposures uh, from a balcony, but the problem was it was windy, so the trees kept moving. So if I overlap this, I'm just gonna get a blurred photo. But luckily, uh, PaintShop Pro allows me to make copies so let's look at this file uh, hdr single raw photo now you will need to use raw you can't use gifs or jpeg sorry so you will need raw but any good photographer will tell you they always shoot raw the reason is you can pull so much more detail from a raw photo all right so a window pops up and basically tells you how it works um, no need to do that since i'm going to explain to you how it works. So here we are, we're in the uh, HDR uh, program or a little utility. So I can do a couple of things. First thing, I can pick the camera that I'm using. So I'm using a Nikon. I can manually uh, change the intervals or I will allow the software to do that. So for the tutorial, I'm gonna split the photo in three different exposure rates. So it's processing. So as you can see, this is the original and then each photo progressively gives me more exposure. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create layers or the, the program will create layers, lay one on top of each other and this gives me a new result. So I'm gonna process and here we are with the new photo. Now uh, I have a couple of default options. As you can see, I've got presets that the program will suggest to you. And most of the time it's they're horrid so I never really use a preset. I might just stick with this one here. I can also use the auto feature where it will change certain features of the photos, you know, temperature, tint, contrast, what's, whatnot. Again, I am showing you how to use this, so I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna process this once again. Okay. Now, I still have more options here. I still have suggestive settings, so it may say, well, we should really do this, and obviously it increased the brightness, and I, and I don't wanna do that. Now, I've always been told it's better off to change the highlights and shadows rather than push the brightness because it's gonna expose the whole photo. Everybody has their opinion. Uh, actually, fill light. I, I like to use fill light more than anything. So there you go. But again, uh, it's up to you how do you use this. Now, I have more options after this. If I'm happy with this photo, so what I've essentially done, like I said, I've taken uh, one photo, gave it three different exposures, and then laid them together to give you a new look. Uh, if I did it with the old photo, the original photo, let's see if I can pull that up. If I try to edit this uh, in here, I could probably mimic it, but I'm gonna, basically touch the whole photo. So I might wash out the blues, the greens might look overexposed. By using this feature here, I'm doing it one photo at a time. I hope that makes sense. Now, even if I have uh, finished with this photo, but let's say there's a bird in the sky and you don't want that bird in the sky, I can bring this all back into PaintShop Pro and then I can edit it even further. If it was a person and you want to remove some scratches or some hair on the face, I can do that even further again. But here we are back in PaintShop Pro where I have more options to work with. Now, interesting to note in the beginning, my histogram on the original photo, uh, everything was underexposed. It was all in the black, very little in the white. And as you can see here, I have a nice camel hump, so it's evenly balanced. For me, anyway. <laughs> so there you go, my friends. If you didn't know HDR existed, now you do. And it's a brilliant little feature to make you look even more professional. And as always, thanks for joining.